neighborhood bake-off is right down to the wire and I'm just double-checking Granny Worrell's blue ribbon recipe. Okay. Strawberries. Pretzels. Mustard. And for inspiration, Vern, I'm having a couple of these gooey boy muffin cakes. Mm. And Vern, with a lifetime supply, I won't have to buy. You know, Vern, Anybody can cook, but for really great recipes, we've got to know how to follow directions. Like, for instance, shake well before using. You know, Vern, I do that with salad dressing, too, and it just wears me out. Ernest P. Worrell, Bon Vivant. Great moments in the history of food. The third pizza. Oh, hey, Pilgrim dudes. Uh, say, man, like, did we order a turkey pizza with, like, double maize, man? Well, like, I hope your little Indian friends can start a fire or something, man, because, like, thy pizza is, like, ice cold, okay, dude? Hey, man, aren't these, like, great hats? Huh? Don't you like a little buckle? Hi, I'm Ernest Tongue. Do you know what a tongue's most important job is? <laughs> no, it's not licking stamps or blowing raspberries. It's tasting food. I do it all the time. Oh, look, here comes something now. Ah, yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. Yo, brain, that's ice cream. It's sweet. You want more. See, I make all these calls. Now, give me more ice cream. Oh, oh, lima beans. No, 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 forget the lima beans. Eat ice cream. Now, he'll eat more ice cream. Oh, 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 lima beans. I had to get stuck with the one guy who likes lima beans more than ice cream. Tuna sandwich. That start with the bread. I prefer to use a white bread. No, burn. That never go stale. You could use a little help with your entry in the neighborhood bake-off. Like so. I don't believe your bologna pot pie is going to hit the top ten, know what I mean? That's why you ought to be watching Mrs. Simon Simmons' baking show. It's coming on right now. Get your pencil and paper and gather around. Now, take your shortening. I prefer to use a nice, firm shortening. And I can see I'm running short of time, so very quickly, salt your shortening. Drain your tuna. And when you're finished, if you do it properly, it should look like this. This is Mrs. Simon Simmons saying, mind your manners and fix it yourself. Hmm. <laughs> he took the rubber leaf again. I'll hit you this time, boy. Come on, we gotta have tarpon tonight. <laughs> Get to it! Get to it! Hey, oh! Hi there, Ernest. I was just doing a little fishing. Hey, let me lower your ears. Boy, you look shaggy, don't you? Yeah, Earl, I'm gonna win that neighborhood bake-off. And I want to look my best when I step into the winner's circle to claim my prize. All right. Make me look like, like a Wall Street tycoon. Okie dokie, Ernest. Just sit back and relax and leave it to old Ariel. Now, oh, just a second now, hold still. Hold still, hold still. All right, we got that, now. Ernest, there you go. You like it? Ah! Earl, I wanted you to make me look like a Wall Street tycoon. Oh, silly me. I thought you said a, a small, sweet macaron. But what do you think? Do you like it? Huh? It could work. Oh, hi again. George is just putting the finishing touches on his famous lasagna for the big neighborhood bake-off. And he wants me to give it a try before he enters it. I hate this part. George always wants me to get in the mood before I try one of his exotic dishes. You should have been here when George had Mexican fiesta night. Ay, 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 ay. 
Que pasa, Vern? I assume you are here for the fiesta. I have been testing one of my Mexican food recipes and decided to throw a little fiesta to celebrate. And now, in the tradition of the fiesta, I will begin by breaking the piñata. Ah, the baked Alaska is almost done, Bobby. And those gooey boy muffin cakes are almost ours. And now for the test. That's not baked Alaska. <laughs> That's mush. Mush, Bobby, mush. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not mush. That's Ernest's brain. Put it back in. It's only half baked. <laughs> what? Looky, looky, Vern. Wouldn't Mother Nature be proud? See? My bell peppers are ready to ring. My corn dogs are ready to bark. And my squash is ready to squash. I just love harvest time, don't you, Vern? Great moments in the history of food. The fourth pizza. Whoa, hey, don't shoot, partner, dude. Did you, like, order the beef jerky pizza with double beans? Well, here, man, like, my chuck wagon's double parked. But, like, I hope you got a campfire, man, because, like, your pizza is, like, ice cold. Hey, nice bolo. Have a good roundup, doggy dude. You know, Vern, a recipe is only as good as its ingredients. You can't afford to skimp on your ingredients and expect to win a blue ribbon. Case in point. Notice how they stack the cans of fruit at the grocery store? Your average run-of-the-mill bargain shopper would take the top can thinking they're all the same. That's what they want you to think, Vern. But a master shopper like Ernest P. Worrell knows that the good ones are on the bottom. Never send a man to do a boy's job. It didn't work at the supermarket either. Know what I mean? Yeah. I thought the stock boy was going to clobber you. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Shea Bistro. I'm your waiter this evening. Would you like to begin with the soup? What is your soup today? It's a delicious cream of broccoli. You might as well have said the plague. Creamy things make me nauseous, especially if they're chunky in texture. Do you have frog legs? Yes, ma'am. Wear baggy pants. No one will notice. <laughs> I need two fried eggs, real well done. Hash browns and wheat toast dry. Thank you. They want the eggs real well done. Thank you. Still too runny. Cook them some more. Thank you. They weren't exactly pleased. Well, Vern, this is it. I've got to go deliver this to the Bake Off competition. You know, Vern, I can just feel it. This is my year, know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final judging of this year's Neighborhood Bake Off. The competition, of course, as always, was tough, but the judges have reached a decision. The winner of the lifetime supply of Gooey Boy Muffin Cakes is... Ernest P. Worrell. Now, Burn, I've got enough Gooey Boy Muffin Cakes to last my entire lifetime. But what I will share with you is the remainder of my prize-winning recipe. The judges loved it, Burn. They didn't go any further. They stopped right in their tracks. But I want you to have it. Here. Give it a try. Come on, Vern. It's Blue Ribbon Surprise. <coughs> the surprise, Vern. You found the surprise. Know what I mean? Hey, Vern. You know, Vern, the taste of victory sure is sweet. But remember, Vern, you are what you eat. Uh, and one thing I learned about the sweet taste of success, Vern, is always always share with your friends. Know what I mean? 
Now, Fern, I don't feel so good. Do you have anything for a tummy ache? 